Okay, thank you very much. So I read as directed. Communique at the end of the stakeholders meeting of the Labour Party held on Monday, 8 April 2024, at the HNL Park Resort, Gudu Apuja, Federal Capital Territory. Preamble. Owing to the current vacuum in the leadership of the Labour Party, the NLC Political Commission, consequent on its status in the constitution of the Labour Party, as a registered trustee of the Labour Party, a status that was further portrayed by a Federal High Court Consent judgment delivered on March 20, 2018 by Justice Gabriel Kolawole, convened this stakeholders meeting to address the leadership void in the Labour Party and also discuss the reposition of the Labour Party to deliver its mandate as the political vehicle for the emancipation of Nigerian workers and people. Resolutions of the stakeholders meeting. One, the stakeholders meeting noted the vacuum in the leadership of the Labour Party following the expiration of the supposed tenure of the immediate past National Working Committee of the Labour Party. Two, the stakeholders meeting affirmed and validated the intervention of the Nigerian Labour Congress through her political commission as the only body recognized by the constitution of the Labour Party and Justice Kola Willis' consent judgment to act as trustee in a situation of leadership vacuum, as is currently the case in the Labour Party. The stakeholders meeting following the unanimous adoption of motions moved to accept the recommendations made in the address by the chairman of the NLC Political Commission resolved that in order to reposition the Labour Party from a mere platform for contesting election to a viable political vehicle for the emancipation of Nigerian workers and people, the following steps must be taken immediately. One, constitution of the transition committee under the leadership of the NLC Political Commission and working with all stakeholders with a mandate to set up structures at national, state, local government and world level for the conduct of an all-inclusive and expansive national convention of the Labour Party. Two, the stakeholders meeting passed a vote of no confidence on the purported Labour Party national convention held on in the Nino State and regards as inconsequential the leadership that claims to have emerged from the illegal Navy convention. Three, that the independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and all the relevant security organizations in Nigeria are hereby notified and also should be officially written immediately to recognize the Transition Committee as the interim leadership of the Labour Party pending the conduct of an all-inclusive and expansive National Convention of the Labour Party. So, that the Transition Committee, once constituted, should fully take over the secretaries of the Labour Party all over Nigeria. Five, that the Transition Committee shall immediately set up an access recovery process of all the properties of the Labour Party. The Transition Committee shall also ensure that all the cases of fraud, impersonation, and forgery of official documents pending against a few discredited former officers of the Labour Party are forensically audited and the culprits are diligently prosecuted as demanded by the leader of the Labour Party, Mr. Putobi. It is unfortunate that the actions of these few dishonorable characters have splashed mud on the right certain of the Labour Party. That the Transition Committee shall within three months of this constitution ensure the conduct of an inclusive national convention of the Labour Party starting from World Congress to local government congress to state congress culminating in an all-inclusive and expansive national convention in Abuja. Seven, pursuant to the foregoing, the Transition Committee is mandated by the stakeholders meeting to begin the process of revalidation of current members of the Labour Party and the registration of new members through the issuance of new membership cards and receipt of membership dues for the purpose of the conduct of an all-inclusive and expansive national convention of the Labour Party. It is expected 
that this globalization drive will lead in the first instance a total membership strength of 10 million Labour Party card carrying members drawn from across all workplaces, all marketplaces, all professional groups, ethnic and religious organizations that Nigerian workers and people belong to. Finally, the stakeholders meeting recognizes, affirms, and commends the support of all critical stakeholders in the Labour Party for their continued support and faith in the Labour Party. We promise that your steadfast solidarity will surely count. This is the end of the reading of the communique of this stakeholders meeting. Thank you very much and God bless the Labour Party. Thank you.